there's only one path to peace, your extinction. Hey guys, Joel from Real Talk here, and today I'm proud to be reviewing The Age of Ultron, the second installment of The Avengers, directed by Joss Whedon, starring everybody and your mother pretty much in this movie. There's no spoilers in this review, I will be doing a spoiler review basically later this week, but right now you're getting my initial reaction of the movie, basically what I felt was great about the movie, things that weren't as good, that I thought were going to be good in the movie. So let's get started with this review, and I'll give you my thoughts. So we pretty much pick off right after, I would say, uh, Winter Soldier. All the events after Winter Soldier have went into this movie, leading up to this entire plot line of Tony Stark trying to find a way to basically make the Avengers job easier or make it to where the Avengers don't have to risk it all. So he uncovers Ultron, the project that him and Bruce Banner have been working on for, I don't know, probably since the first Avengers, since they first met each other. They're basically trying to create artificial intelligence. It goes haywire with, the Ult with Ultron, and so, all the Avengers have to come together to stop Ultron. Also, we get Scarlet Witch played by Elizabeth Olsen. We get Aaron Taylor Johnson playing Quicksilver. Ultron himself played by James Spader was pretty great. I thought he was much more funny than I thought he would be. There was a lot of serious moments in the movie where Ultron wasn't taking it too seriously. He was kind of showing shades of Tony Stark. And so the whole idea is that Ultron is basically the evil side of Tony Stark. Basically, if Tony Stark ever went to the extreme of trying to fix everything he's done, it'd be Ultron. Ultron's just basically saying, like we've seen in the trailers, the only path to peace is the extinction of the Avengers, but also of mankind, pretty much blaming mankind for all the horrible things that are going on in the world, which is kind of true, but... The movie goes its full way to try to get Ultron to be the villain of the movie. So we get the entire cast back together with the Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, even Nick Fury makes an appearance in the movie. And we also get War Machine, played by Don Cheadle, in the movie as well. We get Nick Fury, like I said, we get pretty much everybody involved with the first movie, but of course, Agent Coulson. Overall, the movie is fun. With a little hint of dark, Joss Whedon claimed that this movie was really hard to write because he wanted to go darker. He wanted to make sure that he put the Avengers in a different situation than in the first movie. In a way, it kind of is. Not too much. I mean, from the first trailer, I thought this movie was going to be very dark compared to what it was in this movie. There were still a lot of fun, whimsical uh, jokes in this movie. There's still a lot of things going on in this movie that we expected. We expected some Thor jokes. We expected a lot of things, including a couple scenes with Hawkeye. We got a lot of Hawkeye in this movie, and I'm really excited to see that because Hawkeye was kind of thrown under the rug in the first Avengers. And I know that Joss Whedon wanted him to be in this movie a lot more. And so we get a little bit of his backstory in this movie all the way near the end of the movie. We also get a lot of new characters with Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. I think they were pretty cool in this movie as well. Both of them were showing shades of you know, being good and then being bad. Kind of like the Avengers were able to do. Blur that line and basically say there's not really good or bad. It's just misunderstandings, pretty much. So Captain America pretty much is not taking a backseat, but he's showing shades of what's going to happen in Civil War. I'm not going to say exactly what goes on in the movie that will cause him to go forward into the actions of what might we might see in Civil War. But there's a line drawn a couple times in the movie. Obviously, like in the first movie, there's lines drawn in this one. The superheroes were butt heads, like we saw the Hulk and Iron Man butt heads again. This time, it was a little more incidental. But like, but in the next movie, there's going to be a lot more of conflict between the Avengers, and it's going to dive much more into why and like personally the moral, the morality of the different Avengers. Kind of diving in because in this in the Avengers movies, we kind of just throw off morality and basic opinions of all these characters and just put them together and see how much of a team they really are. And in the end, they do become a real team. But in the Civil War, we're obviously going to see lines drawn. We're going to see colors shown. We're going to see the true intentions of certain people. And I'll dive more into that into my spoiler review that's coming later this week. But in this movie, in, in general, I think that we kind of threw that off aside to deal with Ultron. And the vision as well, played by Paul Bettany. I thought that his performance in the movie was pretty, pretty interesting and pretty new because we've always heard his voice, we've never seen him, but the way he was created was very, very cool. And I'm not gonna spoil that as well, but I thought the whole sequence of that of that scene was pretty awesome and I liked 
his creation and the story behind his creation as well. We also get a little hints of Thanos in the future Avengers movie in this movie. I think it's pretty awesome to see them taking leaps forward to this epic movie of the Infinity War that's coming soon, directed by the Russo brothers. But in this movie, we are left with Ultron and the Avengers of the Avengers on Earth. And there's a lot of things to discuss, a lot of things to check in. Obviously, Joss Whedon leaves a lot of Easter eggs in the movie. And so we might not notice them until the second viewing. I'm obviously going to watch it a couple more times to get a better glimpse at what's going to be happening in the future for the Avengers movie. But overall, I thought it was a great send-off to Joss Whedon. I thought his, his directing was up to standard. Was it as special as the first Avengers? No, but you can't duplicate something like that. I thought that this movie did a great job moving the superheroes further into a new area, into a new direction as well with the Russo brothers coming in. So there's plenty more to get excited about and there's plenty to look forward to in the future of the Avengers and the Marvel Cinematic Universe in general. Later this year we're also getting Ant-Man, we're getting another Thor and Captain America movie, and Spider-Man's coming into the party eventually. So there's plenty to look forward to in the Avengers in general, but the Age of Ultron gets a good 8 out of 10 from me. I thought it was great. I thought it was fun. I think you'll enjoy it. I think a lot of people have enjoyed watching it, and it's definitely one of the best popcorn flicks you can watch. As far as being quality movie, it's not up to standard with the first Avengers, but it's still fantastic. It's still worth the a midnight screening. It's still worth going early to see it, but it's worth the ticket. Guys, let me know what you thought down below. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Please be aware of the spoilers. Do not post any spoilers unless you leave a tag before you post it. Also, guys, comment if you think that this movie was great or if you thought the first one was more special. Let me know in the comments below. Also, rate this video if you get the chance. Subscribe if you got the opportunity. I have a lot of videos right here that you can check out. Also, a Jared Leto reaction picture right here you can click. Also, we have a lot of new content coming up during the summer with all these movies coming out. I have trailer reviews of the Star Wars movies and of a lot of other flicks you can go check out right here as well. We also have a radio show that goes live every Wednesday with our podcast episodes in this YouTube channel that you can check out, you can listen to. We talk about a lot of awesome things on movies, not just superhero and Star Wars movies, even though we like to touch on that a little bit. But we talk about a lot of stuff on our next show. Please check that out if you get the chance to with the links below. You can watch and listen. So guys, thank you for watching. I've been Joel from Real Talk. And go watch some movies. Tune in Wednesdays 3 to 5 on The Wire. OU Student Radio.